Coming up today, three tips you can use to make any story more interesting from one of my very favorite TED Talks. So as a specialist in business storytelling, I'm always looking for great examples online. And one of my favorite sources for that, well, it's TED Talks. And what's interesting is that although you'll see stories told again and again in TED Talks, not all of them are stellar. But one person who is absolutely fantastic in what she does is Julia Sweeney. And in fact, you'll see a link down below to one of my favorite talks, which is funnily enough called that talk <laughs> and it's all about how when her daughter was eight years of age she um, was asked a rather innocent question and misinterpreted or interpreted in such a way that she thought geez i'm going to have to have that talk the one that parents often try to not have with their teenage ch children about the facts of life and all the dreadful things that happened on the back of that but the reason I mention this particular talk is that she did three things really, really well in her storytelling. And if you can do the same things, I promise your impact as a storyteller will go higher and higher. So the first thing that she did is that she really focused on hooking the audience within a very short space of time. Within the first minute, she's absolutely got you hooked and wondering what's going to happen next. In fact, within the first 30 seconds, she's given you all the setup. There's no extra blah, 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 blah stuff, which can oftentimes drown an audience. And then she escalates beautifully into the second thing that you need to have in every story, which is you've got to have something that causes the audience to care. A wall, a problem, a snag, and boy does she have a great one where she thinks, oh geez, I'm going to have to have this rather awkward conversation with my eight-year-old. And then on the back of that, she does the third thing beautifully, which is once you've got the audience absolutely hooked, line and sinker, and they want to know what's going to happen next, you want to keep them engaged. And she does that with using the oldest method in the world, which is about, you know, it's bad, and then it goes to worse, and then it goes to worse still. And it is stellar stuff, folks. But she does something else that if you can add this to your storytelling acumen, will also produce fantastic results. What she does is she recreates the story rather than tell you the story. If you tell a story which is just a then and then and then, the audience won't get nearly as much out of it as if they actually are watching the story unfold in front of them right before their eyes. The engagement level at the, in the audience was fantastic. You could see they were having a great time. She was too, and if you can do that, I promise everybody is going to love the outcome.